What's up guys and welcome to the channel. It's Ioana here, founder and CEO of Subwell. Today I'm back with another weekend shoe deal roundup. This time I looked to find 10 shoes, all that were under $100. I know some of these deals recently have been creeping up in price. It's like 130, 140 range. So today I want to get back to basics, give you those sub $100 deals. Now some of these shoes are on sale for this year's model and some of them are last year's model. And that's where you're gonna find really the deepest discounts is looking at last year's model. As always, I tried to find the cheapest price on these shoes, but if you know a better deal out there, go ahead and drop it in the comments so we can share them with the community and everyone can save a few bucks heading into that holiday shopping season coming up soon. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first up, we got trusty old Saucony Endorphin Shift 3. As I mentioned last week, the price on this one just keeps dropping and dropping. It's now $90 at Running Warehouse. Rumor is this one is on the chopping block and is not gonna get a version four from Saucony. Just sad because this is probably my favorite daily trainer type of shoe, recovery type of shoe in the past year. I'm still looking for a replacement for it. I've been running in the Gel Nimbus a lot recently, but I got the Topo Atmos on my list for when that comes out. Hopefully that can take the place of this because the Gel Nimbus is a bit too soft. If you want a shoe that makes it easy to run, but it's not too soft, then the Ship 3 is really gonna be great for you. I love it because this EVA foam in here, Power Run, is a bit firmer than a lot of those other recovery running shoes on the market, but it has this nice strong rocker up front, which just helps you roll along through the miles. As I was recovering from the Charlotte Marathon last year, I put tons of miles on this thing. So if you got a big goal race coming up in October and are looking for a shoe that can help you ease back into running after that race, go ahead and pick up the shift. All right, guys, next up, we got another trusty old friend here, the Nike Pegasus 40. This is the 39 here. You can find both the 39 and the 40 on sale. I'm highlighting the running shoe warehouse deal right here, which is $90 again. This is one of, I think, the most slept on daily trainers on the market right now because it's not the flashiest, it's not the sexiest, it doesn't have a ton going on, but this React foam is just nice and comfortable. It gives a really confident and planted feel when you pick up the pace, and it's very durable because of this full length rubber outsole. So if you're a runner who's fairly efficient, you don't need too much support or cushion underfoot, and you want something that can pick up the pace that can go fast as well as can go slow, very versatile, durable shoe, then Pegasus is still one of those top workhorses on the market today. All right, next up we got the Topo Spectre for $99 at Running Warehouse. Now this is a great long run shoe. It has a pretty thick stack and in the midsole there, there's a drop in of Piva. So what that's gonna do with that dual foam construction is that EVA on the bottom is gonna provide a lot more support. And then that Piva is gonna be some bounce and responsiveness so that when you do wanna go faster, you get a bit more lift off than you would with just a firmer EVA. So if you're looking for a nice comfortable cushion shoe to help you hit some of those long runs or even recovery runs through the back half of marathon training, Spectre is gonna be a great choice. Also, if you want a shoe that's gonna help you be comfortable after that race and help you get back into running like that Shift 3 could do, then Spectre is also a good choice. All right, guys, next up, we got the New Balance SC Pacer for $80 at Running Warehouse. Now, this is a very thinly stacked plated racing shoe that's designed for short distance races like a 5K and a 10K. It competes with shoes like the Adidas Takumi Sen and the Nike Streak Fly, and it's really designed for efficient, light runners who can get the most out of a lightweight racing shoe. Me, personally, I'm 16. 160, 165 pounds. I don't race in these types of shoes. I tried racing in the Takumi Sun before, but I prefer a bit more cushion, something like the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3 or the Nike Vaporfly 3. Where I do see this fitting in for a lot of recreational runners who aren't super efficient or super lightweight is that it can be a great training shoe for those fast paces, help you feel a bit more connected to the ground and without that massive stack of a super foam like a Zumax or what's in here, a fuel cell, can help you feel the ground a bit more and build that leg strength. While it is plated, it's not gonna give you as much help as a thick stacked traditional super shoe. All right, next up, speak of the devil, we got the Nike Streak Fly for $80 at Running Warehouse. Now this is very similar to the SC Pacer, which we just highlighted, but instead of having a full length carbon fiber plate in there, it's got a midfoot shank. All that is, is it's a partial plate in the midfoot, which stabilizes the shoe. 
That ZoomX foam in there is extremely squirrely and can be unstable when it's by itself. So that shank provides some support in there. Again, if you're looking for a great training shoe to help you hit some of those track days, help you hit some of those faster paces, the Streak Fly is a good choice. It's not gonna feel the most cushioned, even compared to competitors like the Takumi Sen but it will help you feel some of that ground contact. And my friend Cam uses this shoe a lot and he describes it as you know, his feet, his toes can really feel the ground and grip and toe off when he's running in it. So if you want a shoe that helps you feel very connected, there's not a plate in the front there, there's not a massive stack of foam in the front there or a huge rocker, then this is gonna be a great natural feeling workout shoe for you. All right guys, another old favorite here. We've got the Saucony Triumph 20 for $85 at Zappos. This is a classic recovery running shoe. It's one of the best, most comfortable cushion shoes out there today. Competes with shoes like the Gel Nimbus, the Nike Invincible. What I like about this shoe is that this Power Run Plus foam that they're using in here, it's a beaded TPU. It's not as mushy and squishy as some of those other foams like that Asics FF Blast Plus that they have in that Gel Nimbus. So when you are going slower or going faster, it doesn't feel like you're sinking into the shoe as much. And the effect of that on the run is it gives you a bit more confidence when you're cornering, when you're wanting to pick up the pace, when you're wanting to go fast. And while it's not a speed shoe, it feels a bit more nimble and deft at faster paces than another recovery running max cushion shoe. Other great thing about this guy here is this outsole is extremely thick. It's gonna be nice and durable for you. I do have to say I wore through this back portion here at around 300 miles, but I'm a heavy scuffer. I'm a heel striker. I'm loud and proud about it. But if you are light on your feet or if you're a four foot to mid foot striker, you can probably get 500 to 600 miles out of this no problem because this midsole foam is one of the most durable out there today. All right, guys, next up, we got the Saucony Convara 13 for $63 at Running Warehouse. Now this is last year's model version, very similar to this year's model, except has a lower stack of that power run foam. And the entire Convara series is really the last of a dying breed. It uses EVA foam, that standard traditional running foam that Brooks pioneered a few decades ago. And it still has that low to the ground connected feeling in a tempo shoe, unlike a lot of these other ones on the market. He highlighted the SC Pacer and the Streak Fly earlier in this rundown. And even those shoes have shifted towards the fuel cell foam and that New Balance, which is a super critical foam. And then that Nike Zoom X, which is a Piva. So the difference here is it's using that standard foam. It's not gonna be as bouncy. It's not gonna give you as much help and energy return when you're putting pressure down into it. So it forces you to run more and build your own strength. If you're a traditional kind of runner, you wanna build up your strength, you don't want all that assistance on your runs, then the Convara is gonna be a great workout shoe for you. You could also use it if you're a very efficient runner as a daily trainer shoe for those everyday models. All right, next up, we got the New Balance 1080 V12 for $99 at Dick sporting goods. Now this is one of those deals they do at Dick's where you can only see the price once you've added it to your cart. I added a few different colorways and sizes and some of them were coming in at 99, some of them were coming in at 101. So I do have to acknowledge this might be $1 more expensive than my cutoff threshold for this video, but it's right around that $100 mark depending on your color and size. Now the 1080 V13 is coming out soon and I'm really interested in the shoe as a potential replacement for that Shift 3 that I mentioned because that fresh foam is an EVA blend, it's gonna be a bit softer than we see in the Saucony Power Run, but not as soft as that New Balance Gel Nimbus, that FF Blast Plus foam in there. So this, this is really a good betweener shoe that can be a daily trainer or recovery running shoe. For me and my running style, I don't like the super soft shoes. So something like that New Balance 1080 is gonna be a great recovery running shoe. Version 12 is gonna be a bit on the firmer side, but if you're like me and you like that, then this is a great buy, especially at $100. This thing's gonna go for miles and miles and miles. All right, next up, we got the ASIC. Nova Blast 3 for $93 at Dick's Sporting Goods. Again, this is a C, the price in the cart deal, so you gotta add it to your cart to get that price. But we know the Nova Blast 4 is coming soon. I did a preview video of that last week. So Nova Blast 3, we're gonna start to see a lot of deals on this one. So this is similar to that Saucony Triumph. It's gonna be a softer daily trainer type shoe. 
the foam that they're using in here isn't going to give as much energy return as the power room plus does in the triumph but if you're not like me and you do prefer that softer more cushioned feel underfoot for your everyday miles then go ahead and get that nova blast as your daily trainer all right guys last one here you know it's coming it would not be a deal video without a highlight of my favorite shoe right now the adidas audi zero sl now i found this one this week for 58 dollars at dick's sporting goods again it's a c the price in the cart deal so you got to add it to your cart to get the price this is my favorite daily trainer on the market right now it's firmer than a lot of other shoes out there which i really like but then it has this super foam in the forefoot so when i'm running more on my toes when i'm trying to go fast i get a lot of bounce off this forefoot it does take about 50 to 70 miles to break in and really get comfortable but once you do get to that point because it is a firmer shoe it has some nice stability and structured cushioning and really feels like it molds around your entire foot this is my pick right now for long runs i've been doing 16 mile long runs every week and this is what i've been pulling for i just have the most confidence in it in my rotation right now and i know it's gonna go forever and ever and ever i almost have 200 miles on it and there's barely anywhere on the back heel area here all right guys so there you have it those are the 10 best shoes for under a hundred dollars this week let me know in the comments which ones i've missed or if you can find any deals on these that are cheaper as always thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and i'll make sure to keep you up to date on the latest and greatest in the world of running shoes